So, this is a little demo to show how a radiator is working, or show one of the principles behind how a radiator is working. Okay, And it's a reminder that hot air rises. Okay, So I've got a tea bag, I cut off the ends, and I have a tube of paper. Now, this tube of paper uh, will burn. Now, the air around that paper, via conduction, will get warmer. Okay, What else will happen to the air then around that paper as it gets warmer? Hands up. What happens to things as they get warmer? Yeah, expand. they expand. Okay, so if, you, if they're expanding, but they've still got the same number of particles there, what's going to happen to the density of that air? Yeah. No. Well, why put your hand up? Yeah. Get thicker. Thicker, really? Denser. So if it's same number of particles, but they're spread out over a oh, larger no. area. Oh, no, get less dense. It's going to be less dense, okay? So we've got a drop in density. Don't fall over, don't fall over. Actually, I might just make that slightly more flat. Okay, so we've got a drop in density. Now, what will happen then, hopefully, is that it should start to rise. Okay? Now, that air around it should start to rise, and then you've got new colder air coming in from the... Uh, the sides to take the place of that air which has gone. Is that recording? Excellent. So what I'm going to do is like this. I need to wait for the air to be absolutely still and we'll see what happens. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> So, what we've set up there is something called a, a convection current. Okay? So, we've got that hot air rising, we've got that <laughs> the cold air coming from the sides to take its place, and yet this sort of circulating current which is pushing that hot air up and around the room.